All right, so let's ratchet up things just a little bit more. Let's say we have 17K minus 28 over 21 plus 4 thirds is equal to zero. So here we have something that looks a lot more complicated, but again, you're, you know that you're just trying to get here. So, you know, you can't really mess with this stuff yet because you're adding this term to it. This is the easiest thing for you to grab and just throw to the other side. Um, so you want to work out and work yourself in. So you want to get rid of everything added or subtracted to this giant term that, has, that contains what you want. So what we want to do is subtract 4 thirds. So on the left, all we're going to have is 17k minus 28 divided by 21. That's all we're going to have on the left because we subtract 4 thirds. That's going to disappear. 0 minus 4 thirds on the right. Okay? So this guy, you're going to have 17k minus 28 over 21. 0 minus 4 thirds is negative 4 thirds. And I know fractions seem like a pain, but it's not going to be that hard. Now we need to get rid of something over here. We're going to get rid of the bottom, the 21. We're going to multiply by 21. Right? So what, when we do that, on the left-hand side, we're going to have 17k minus 28 is equal to, and on the right-hand side, negative 4 thirds times 21. On the left and the right, all we did was multiply by 21. We got rid of the 21. That's why it disappeared. We're still multiplying by 21 over here. Now, why do we want to do this? Because when you think about it, <clears throat> this is like 21 over 1, really. And you can simplify this before you do anything. So uh, we can divide by 3 here, divide by 3 here, and that gives us 7. So what we really have is 17k minus 28 is equal to, what's 7 or 4 times 7? That's 28. Negative sign gives us negative 28. So that's what we have on the right-hand side. Now you could have taken negative 4 times 21 and then divided by 3. That would have been fine too, but we notice right away 3 and 7. We can do that division and we can kind of do our fraction simplification, which we've learned in previous lessons, and that gives you the 7 that's floating up there times the 4 gives you the 28. So now we want to get rid of this 28, working ourselves closer over here. So what we're going to be left with, we're going to add 28 to both sides. It's going to disappear there. We're going to have negative 28 plus 28. And finally, this is going to give you, what do you think? 0. Negative 28 plus 28 is 0. And now to get k by itself, we divide by 17. That's going to get rid of them over here. 0 divided by 17. Anything, 0 divided by anything is just 0. So lots of work. All we figured out is that k was actually 0. Because once you get a 0 over here, once you divide, then you still have 0. Check yourself. Put a k is equal to 0 up here. If we put k is equal to 0, this is a 0 term. Then we'll have negative 28 up here. Negative 28 over 21, when you think about it, is going to actually reduce to negative 4 thirds. Because I'd be able to, if this is gone, then I'll be able to divide the top of this fraction by 7. That's going to give me 4. Divide the bottom by 7. That's going to give me 3. So I'm going to have negative 4 thirds here. When I have negative 4 thirds plus this 4 thirds, I'm going to get 0. So k is equal to 0 is, in fact, the correct answer.